So I'm going to go ahead and send Task Force 66. Isn't that kind of appropriate if you're familiar with uh, Star Wars at all? Uh, Task Force 66 is going to be the one that's going to come pick up the atomic bomb components from Wake Island. They're going to go ahead and deliver those to Iwo Jima. And by the time they get them there, we should have uh, at least upgraded to a minor port, if not to a major port. Uh, we've got a lot of other folks that we've got to get moved. We're going to get this Task Force 72 advanced up to Midway. I'm just going to go through every one of my groups and see where they're at. Carrier Group D is here at Iwo Jima. We'll go ahead and get them. Uh, parked in there, repair, resupplied. Task Force 51 is my battleship task force that's kind of hanging out over here in the Caroline Islands. We're going to keep them there, although I think I'm going to go ahead and send them to attack this. Uh, six cargo ships, five oil tankers, three ammunition ships. The Monaghan task force is down here in Tarawa. Uh, you know, I guess at this point we can go ahead and start advancing everybody over in this direction for the final push. Task Force 68 is two more carriers. So let's get them sent over to Tinian. We're going to move everything up. Mare Island at 72. We got them moving now. Wolfpack Charlie's are, you know, I just never really got into using the subs much. I tried a little bit early on, but it didn't work out. Um, Task Force 76, that's the Enterprise and the Franklin, because I kind of divided all these groups up. Uh, so we got to get everything kind of parked here and reformed back into regular task forces once again. So with all of these available fleets that I've got right now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start upgrading the flights on all of these carriers that are parked at Iwo Jima. Rather than replacing what they currently have, uh, I'd just rather uh, do the upgrades on these. So let's go ahead and see 605 war bonds to upgrade these ones, but then we can go ahead and um, get rid of these old ones because we're going to be upgrading what are we upgrading to sb uh, 2c hell divers corsairs and hellcats so we'll do that for all of these carriers that'll take a little bit of time but financially it should be kind of a wash now this might seem like overkill, but he's sending five destroyers, a light cruiser, and a heavy cruiser down toward Iwo Jima. And I've got this task force that currently has eight carriers in it. So let's go ahead and deal with him. Let's see how quickly eight carriers can take out seven ships. So here they go. Actually, it's just a small group of dive bombers heading out first because we're still in the process of getting all of these guys refit. But I would imagine this fleet is going to cease to exist in just a matter of moments, and it did. So we're going to go back now because we're not quite refit and ready there. Uh, and we're going to sit tight with this carrier task force while we wait uh, for Task Force 66 to go ahead and pick up the atomic bombs. And, and they're almost there to Wake Island. Well, let the kamikaze fun continue because now he's sending 18 destroyers, two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, and a carrier. Uh, so I guess, once again, we've got a total of 10 carriers, 11, 12, 12 carriers sitting at Iwo Jima right now, waiting for more to arrive. So we'll let these eight come out. I think they're ready to go. Uh, we'll send them to deal with these guys. And we're going we're gonna to do this a little differently this time. We're going to go after the destroyers first. They're a little harder targets, but they're going to be ringing that carrier. Although there's only one here, so it's not a big deal. I think, yeah, you know what, if it was a bigger group, maybe I'd change my mind. But in this case, I think we'll just send them out and see what happens. We didn't wipe them out, did we? Because it looks like they actually just disappeared. And we've got a carrier force coming up from the south, too because these are Imperial Japanese Navy planes. So I'm not sure where they're coming from, but our fighters will deal with them. All right, we're getting attacked by some kind of a carrier force that's down to the south of Iwo Jima. And it looks like six torpedo bombers came in and, and started attacking. So uh, we're gonna have to go out and deal with them. Let's get Task Force 76, that's the big one. Uh, we'll get them going in that direction. Saratoga, I think we'll leave sit tight with their task force as well as Carrier Group A, which I think we'll go ahead and merge with the Saratoga Task Force. We're just going to make these two mammoth task force because they're all going to be doing the same job. 
So we're sending out all, all of our fighters to say hello to these dive bombers and torpedo bombers that are coming in. It's interesting he didn't even bother with fighters to go out in front of them. So I think we'll pretty well wipe out most of these. It looks like a few of them might get through. But I've got such a powerful force here that I'm really not too worried about it. All right, what do we got? We got more dive bombers here, and I don't have fighters in the air for these guys. I'm not entirely sure why. Let's go ahead into combat. All right, so we might have a problem here because somehow, number one, my carriers don't have any of their fighters in the air, and number two, they're not surrounded by their escort ships, which are, okay, now they're starting to get into the air area. But I didn't have any escort ships. I had a, a couple of them. You can see just a few destroyers and things like that were near. I had to start ordering all of them to get over here. But I think they're going to get some bombs off on my... No, well, maybe not. There go all the Japanese planes. I guess we were okay. I guess I was worried for nothing. All right, Task Force 66 has just about arrived in Wake Island as soon as they do. We're going to go ahead and forward them on to Iwo Jima, which I'm hoping will be made safe by that point. It seems like we've pretty well eliminated the Japanese threat, at least from any kind of attack planes that could hit my carriers. All right, there's the fleet we were looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and send 12 carriers worth of planes toward 18 destroyers, two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, two battleships, and four carriers. And I don't know what they'll do. I should go in if I was worried too much about the outcome. I'd go in and manually have them attack all of the escort ships to deal with all the anti-aircraft fire right off the bat. But all four carriers have already been taken out, so not an issue. Now we'll see what they do with the rest of them. We'll go ahead and speed up time a little bit. It's taking a little longer to destroy the rest than I thought. It's surprising to me how quickly we took out the carriers but not the rest. Okay, looks like He's down to just nine destroyers. Okay, there, we got him. All right, sweet. There goes another enemy fleet. Now we'll go back and replenish. And then we'll wait for the bombs to arrive. I'm going to go ahead and merge Task Forces 66 and 67 together. And that's going to give us an even more powerful force. That'll give us one, two, three four or five carriers together in that fleet. So that's going to give us a total of what? 17 carriers over at Iwo Jima. And I feel like that should be a strong enough force for Task Force 66 to safely travel to Iwo. And we're going to deliver those atomic bomb components there. Alright, Task Force 66 is on the way with the bomb components. It is September 1943. We are upgrading Iwo Jima to a major port. That's going to get me that much uh, more in terms of the number of uh, B-29s that I'll have there. will be 10 days until that happens. We have nothing happen as far as stores go here right now. So let's go ahead and uh, tell them we want them to be a major port. We're going to go surplus on everything else because right now all the priority is about getting things to Iwo Jima. Now we got an Imperial Japanese Navy task force up here somewhere near Midway. I'm not too worried about that. But we do have two Lexington class carriers there that I haven't renamed. And I guess I'm probably not going to bother with it at this point. We've also got a few more carriers coming in. So I think between all of them we can deal with any threat that comes this way. There's five destroyers but not a big deal. All right, so now that we've got these carriers merged all together, we're going to go ahead and send them on a little hunting mission. They're going to go after these two uh, 
little groups of Navy, uh, Japanese Navy ships that are attacking my convoys. And that should go pretty easily. We'll probably get notification they destroyed those fleets pretty quickly. S-466 continuing to make its way to Iwu. There, that first one's completed and uh, two days away from making Iwo Jima a major port. What do we got here? Three subs. I'm not even going to worry about them. Task Force 78 has been created in San Diego, and that's the Missouri and the New Jersey. Well, we really need to get the Missouri out there, don't we? Because historically, Missouri is the battleship that the Japanese surrender uh, was signed aboard. So we definitely need to get them into action as quickly as we can. Task Force 66 almost to Iwo Jima, which is now a major port. We've got 57 cargo ships inbound. We got three destroyers outside of you. I'm not even going to worry about these destroyers that are nearby. But we can go after them if we need to. In fact, let's go ahead and just use Task Force 66 as they're on their way in. They can get involved in a little action while they're continuing to carry the bombs. They'll take out these destroyers with little trouble. Yep. Okay, the bomb has arrived on Iwo Jima. So, USS Wasp has delivered the little boy bomb units and the U-235 projectile to Iwo Jima. President Truman has warned Japan of prompt and utter destruction and has called for the unconditional surrender of Japanese armed forces. The first atomic bomb, little boy, has been, located, er, been loaded aboard the B-29, number 82, the Enola Gay. Its designated target is the city of Hiroshima. The aircraft may be selected on the port's airfield. Drop the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm first going to go ahead and send out these task forces because what I'm concerned about is that I send these atomic bombs out and they intercept me with fighters from somewhere and I lose these bombs because I know there's you know it's not like the US had an unlimited supply of atomic bombs just sitting around everywhere. So let's go ahead and start sending out our carriers they can deal with any threats between here and Hiroshima and once I can see clearly between here and there I'll launch the airplane so right there you can see perfect example of this we've got two battleships and three carriers right here so we'll go ahead and deal with them and they don't really have any escort ships so I would imagine this will go fairly smoothly one attack run ought to be enough to get this done we'll probably see all five of them disappear in this first run yep okay we're spotting another one now there's two battleships and a carrier here there's also one carrier coming out of port. Looks like he's just kind of scrambling them out into the sea as soon as he can produce them. So they're not even coming out with uh, escort ships anymore, which is going to make them really easy targets. We got the carrier there. What's this out here? Two subs. Not too worried about that. Let's go deal with these battleships. I'm not even going to. I'm just going to ignore that other carrier. I don't really think that's much of a threat at the moment surprisingly there's that well there's one now the other battleship held up pretty good he did send some fighters from Tokyo more Navy planes off this way so there's probably another carrier or at least an escort ship of some kind over here but we're uh, we're almost there to having a clear view of Hiroshima probably by the end of October we'll be able to launch okay here's the other fleet we were worried about over on this side alright so let's see what happens with them we're still trying to take out this last battleship he's launching his fighters okay we took out that battleship What's this here? This is a 
cargo fleet. All right, let's see if we can get these carriers and battleships taken care of here, or this carrier and battleships. All right, cool. So we took them out. We took the other fleet out. What do we see now? Smaller fleet, not too worried about them, but we'll take them out just so they're not in the way of launching my planes. Okay, I think I see enough to go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and... Honestly, I just probably want all the bomber flights, not just Enola Gay. And let's head off to, I guess Hiroshima is this one here. Here we go. Guess we're waiting for all of them to get in the air. No, 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 no. Why did I just order that one to not do that? Well, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I have gone in, I've bombed the heck out of the port, I have scouted it, I've got a fleet that's pretty much in the bay there with Hiroshima, and yet I can't get Enola Gay to launch from Iwo Jima. I, I give the order and it just kind of shows right here, but I never see it taking off and actually going toward the target, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. So I'm wondering if my issue here is that there's no fuel in Iwo Jima. So we may be waiting for the ability to take off because we don't have any fuel. And right, we got a small force coming this way. So let me go ahead and deal with them. I've been out here just fighting like crazy against everybody. Trying to plow the way. But I think that's the issue. I think Iwo Jima doesn't have fuel for the Enola Gay to take off. And now they do. So I don't know if that'll happen now or not. Now it still looks like it's not happening. I'm going to have to do a little research and figure out what do I need to do here. It's also possible that because I was upgrading the shipyard, that's what's the, what the issue is. Uh, so now the shipyard has been built. It looks like there's still work being done on the airfield. So maybe all of these things are issues that are keeping me from being able to do this. So I'm sending all of my task forces back to Iwo Jima until we're sure that this thing's ready to go. Okay, I believe that was the issue. I believe the airport was not fully ready to go. Uh, so now we're ready because just a couple of minutes ago as I was watching this Iwo Jima started launching spotter planes again and they weren't doing that before and I think that's because the the airfield was in such bad shape it needed to be repaired enough to be able to be usable so we're gonna go ahead and start sending our task force back out we're gonna make sure that the the path is clear between here and Iwo Jima or here in Hiroshima and then we'll go ahead and drop that bomb Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start selecting all fighter flights. And we're just going to have them loiter in that area there. And then let's go ahead and select all of our bombers. Well, we can't select all the bombers because not all the bombers are B-29s. But we're going to send all the B-29s over to Hiroshima but especially that one. Okay. Here they go. Now we need to make sure that all of my fighters that get up in the air have an order to escort that thing when it gets closer. Now I'm not entirely sure my fighters have the range to get that far. So it's important we keep our ships moving in that direction too. We're going to take our good old time with this. We want to make sure we get it right. And any planes that come this direction are dealt with. I 
might have gone a little too early because I'm not quite going to have the, the range for this. Let me pause for a second. Select all their fighters and their job is going to be to defend these guys. And once we get out there a little further, we'll give orders to the other carrier fleets to do the same thing. And we'll definitely watch this when it comes in. Oh, they're turning around. Okay. A lot of these carriers don't have planes. All right, this will be interesting to see how it works out. I'll have escorts, but not necessarily as many as I would like to have. So I'm feeling at least a little bit nervous about this. Uh, I can't give them defend orders, but at least they're they're out here kind of guarding the path. Uh, I don't know. I should have moved those carriers further along so that I had them to escort at the last phase because this is where we got to worry. All right, let's go into combat and see what happens. Okay, we're getting over land. This is our B-29 Enola Gay. I don't see any planes. So that's the good news. He doesn't appear to have any kind of an escort. Any kind of a threat to me. That doesn't mean they won't launch at some point toward the end. But if I remember right historically, Enola Gay kind of just went in. They had one plane with them uh, to take video and pictures and stuff but for the most part they didn't go in with a big escort force but we had pretty much dominated air superiority by that point all right That's a big target. All right, I think they dropped it. Now the atomic bomb was actually set. It didn't. It didn't explode on impact. It exploded. I don't remember how far. Maybe two thousand feet in the air, something like that. It was above ground, uh, significantly in the air before it exploded. So I'm waiting to see what happens here. Do we actually get to see the explosion? How does this work? Oh, there it is. Dang. Okay. On Tuesday, 23rd November 1943, a B-29 bomber named Enola Gay took off from the island of Iwo Jima headed toward Japan. The bomber's primary target was the city of Hiroshima. Hiroshima had a civilian population of almost 300,000. and was an important military center containing about 43,000 soldiers. Our second bomb, Fat Man, has been loaded aboard the B-29 boxcar, and his designated target is the city of Nagasaki. All right. I would guess this is all we got to do now. So now here's the deal with Nagasaki. Unlike Hiroshima, we have not 
taken out Nagasaki's defenses. And I'm a little concerned about that. And I don't know that my carriers are all strong enough to do this. And I've already given the, the launch order for Boxcar. You can see it's taken off. So we don't have an unlimited amount of time to deal with Nagasaki's defenses. So we're going to send them out there right now. I've got a lot of war bonds, but there's really no point in kind of spending those at this point. All right. So Boxcar is getting well ahead of any kind of attack that I was able to send out toward Nagasaki. So we're just going to have to count on... Oh boy, there's five fighters right there. I might have been a little premature in launching this attack. Oh, I guess they pretty much went right by. This is going to be interesting. Let's look at the combat on this. Alright, well those Zeros never really threatened my B-29. So it seems as though we're clear, at least till we get to Nagasaki. Now I am worried about whatever air defenses they may have there, but I don't know if their air defenses can even reach the height that a B-29 can fly. I could be wrong about that, but we're up pretty high. Flying at 310 knots. Now we're coming in a little lower. I don't know how low they were when they dropped this, historically. But it looks like we're going to have the all clear to get there. Now this time we'll go ahead and, and watch the whole time from the vantage point of Boxcar. Okay, bombs away, and then turn hardcore, man, because you don't want to be anywhere near. You know, remember, I mean, obviously Nagasaki was a little different because we dropped one by that point, but these were two different bombs, so they were a little bit different in terms of their yield and their composition. I think one was uh, uranium, the other one was plutonium. Um, they didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, these guys hadn't seen the test back um, in Alamogordo, New Mexico. So they had no idea what was going to happen with this. They had just been told what would happen. There it is. All right, so we got the bomb on Nagasaki. Is that enough? American forces have dropped an atomic bomb on Nagasaki, the second such attack on Japan in zero days. The bomb was dropped from an American B-29 at 2346-26 local time. In a statement issued from Guam, General Carl Spatz, commander of the U.S. Strategic Air Forces in the Pacific, said the second use of the atomic bomb occurred at noon, August 9th, at Nagasaki. That's historically, but obviously in our case, it was November 24th. Crew members report good results. No further details will be available until the mission returns. All right, I think that's it. After pondering deeply the general trends of the world and the actual conditions obtaining uh, in our empire today, we have decided to effect a settlement of the present situation by resorting to an extraordinary measure. We have ordered our government to communicate to the governments of the United States, Great Britain, China, and the Soviet Union that our empire accepts the provisions of their joint declaration. That's it. So that's victory. I guess there's nothing else to this if we hit escape. Does it just go back to the... I guess that's it, huh? That's the game, is it? Doesn't seem like anything else is happening. Yeah, so there it is. The Surrender of Japan. So, that was fun. Uh, it's a very flawed game. I mean, you know, there's obviously a lot of glitches, a lot of weird things that happen, and I'm not so sure it's one I'd want to go back and play again. Um, maybe at some point we'll try it from the side of Japan just because it would be the ahistorical thing and it would be cool to see what happens, maybe play as the Brits. But for now, I think we'll kind of call it a day with this game. Let me know your thoughts. Use that comment section below. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. It's been a lot of fun.